All right, so we're getting into our next topic. It looks like Elon overruled Tesla engineers over radar. And so I've got some thoughts on this because we've been driving Teslas, the Model 3, the Model Y, the S, and now the X. And I feel like, personally, I feel like Tesla Autopilot is getting maybe a little worse. I used to feel like it was really strong at the end of the day, but that was also because my Model 3 and my Model Y had radar. And then my Model S and now the Model X, of course, doesn't have radar. And so it doesn't feel as solid. Or maybe I was just shell-shocked when I first got the Model 3 and the Model Y and I was really impressed by it. But it seems like the Model S and the Model X has just has a lot more phantom braking. It just brakes kind of more sporadically and it drives a lot more different or maybe it's just because a bigger vehicle at the end of the day but this would make sense because a lot of People had some pushback with when they, they switched off of radar. And now there's is coming to light that Elon potentially overridden all of the engineers for uh, removing radar. So we'll take a look at it. And I want to know your thoughts. Like, do you have you had an older Tesla that had Tesla radar with autopilot? And now you have a newer Tesla without it. And how is it in comparison? I mean, hopefully at the end of the day, Tesla keeps updating these vehicles and makes it makes them better. But we'll we'll talk about it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it. But but basically just getting the best United Tesla with the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And so let us take a look at this. This is an article from Inside EVs. Elon Musk overruled Tesla engineers who said removing radar would be problematic. Two years later, Tesla is installing a new version of the sensors in its vehicles. So unfortunately, this seems like the new sensors will be hardware 4.0, which may or may not be coming to the Tesla Model 3 or the Y. And it seems like Model X might be, and Model S and Model X might be getting like a hardware 3.5. I mean, we really have no clarity at this point. But what I can say is I really do feel like my Model 3 and my Model Y that had radar just felt a lot more solid on autopilot. Because now like when I'm sitting in bumper to bumper traffic and it's speed steadily increasing and then it hits like a hard brake because someone in front just starts to brake, it really feels like it does, it breaks at like the last possible moment and breaks really, really hard. But uh According to the article, a significant number of Tesla engineers were overruled by the company CEO Elon Musk when they tried to warn him that removing radar sensors from the American car models model would be problematic. Uh, so it looks like this was back in 2021 when they switched from radar to uh, the cameras, and they really ha don't. I really don't feel like they've released some sort of better update just yet. So, quote: Some Tesla engineers were aghast, said former employees with knowledge of the reaction, speaking on the condition of anonymity of fear, for fear of retribution. They contacted a trusted former executive for advice on how to talk Musk out of it and previously un unreported pushback. So, I mean, I mean, the good thing with Tesla is that they are constantly updating the vehicles. They're constantly updating the cameras. And so maybe one day the cameras will be better than radar. But I guess it, at this point, it's not there yet. I mean, I've certainly learned to only use autopilot in, in certain scenarios on highways or not as much traffic. It, it can do bumper to bumper traffic when it's like dead stop bumper to bump traffic really well. But if it's in this weird traffic pattern when you're going like zero, 20 miles an hour to 30, to 40 and then back down to like 10, that's when it starts to get pretty, uh, it's, it's not as stable. So, you know, let me know what your thoughts on Tesla Autopilot are. I still feel like it's a fantastic system, especially on those long road trips and the open highways, but bumper to bumper rush hour traffic or rush hour traffic from that 20 to 40, 40 miles per hour range is where it gets a little, a little anxious at the end of the day. So let me know your thoughts. We're going to jump uh, into our next topic, but before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down in the description is a Patreon link where you can support the channel. So definitely check it out if you're interested.